What's going on, everybody? It's Physical Friday. We're right here on a beautiful day in Hawks K. I got my friend Mike Cunahan. You might know him as No Donuts here. Mike is a cop in New York. Got a very interesting story incorporating fitness. And today we're going to talk about tip or, or for the most part, first responders, cops, people that are in in the line of duty, how they can take control of their health because that's that's your main Mm -hmm. main objective yeah it's i mean it's super important i've been in so many situations where you know my level of fitness has determined whether or not i go home that night you know what i mean and and so many cops on a daily basis not even only cops but cops firemen ems all first responders they're put in those situations every single day and they don't realize the importance of fitness because our job is to put other people first you know it's it's imperative for your line of work that you know, you take a little piece of your time and you work on yourself every single day, or at least as much as you can. And um, nutrition is just as important. You know, it's take your time to make the right choices, um, to get to get the right foods in, to prep your meals for the day. You know, a lot of guys will do the midnight shift and <clears throat> they don't t- they don't take time to prep their food. They just run to work and, you know, they'll, they'll grab whatever's open or they won't eat mm-hmm. at all, which is, you know, just as bad. But they'll eat McDonald's or pizza or Chinese food or something like that. And it's important to make proper nutrition choices. But uh, your level of fitness in that line of work is just, it's king, you know. You, you know, and not to not to downplay, you know, cops, first responders and all that, but a fishing guide is very similar in, in that you are placed in a situation to where you are responsible for everyone oh, yeah. on your boat. Mm-hmm. Your fitness level, in my opinion, your fitness level is, is very important to make sure that they come home mm-hmm. today. Like if someone yeah. goes out of the boat, you've got to make a rescue. You have to do something else. And then also the same kind of situation. Once we leave the dock, there's no place to get any food out there. So mm-hmm. if you are um, relying on whatever your customer brings, well, they're on vacation. They're yeah. going to bring stuff that they yeah. don't normally eat Snacks all the time. And, stuff, yeah. and that, that food prep has been incredibly important. When we're talking about food prep, like what would, I mean, and everybody's got different different nutritional goals and everything like that, but what would be some, some kind of tips that you would give people um, for making sure that they have it. I mean, should, should obviously, if you're going to be in a patrol car all day, mm-hmm. you need like a little cooler. Yep. Here we have a cooler. Mm-hmm. We can probably pretty much bring everything that we want. But um, what would you say as far as uh, macronutrients or types of food that you could? I mean, uh, I would say protein is king as far as getting, uh, you know, maintaining muscle and, and keeping yourself on track. Hitting that protein goal every day is essential. You know, you, uh, you want to avoid getting into that catabolic state where you start burning muscle as fuel and, you know, hitting that protein goal and hitting your water is super important. Uh, you need carbs to kind of keep you going a little bit for the energy, but I would say protein is king. So pack a cooler. Um, there are a couple, a couple companies that make like a hot plate that you can plug into the cigarette lighter or a car or a boat or whatever the case is. And uh, you can heat up your food. But I've spent many, many years eating cold chicken in a patrol car. Mm-hmm. So. And so as far as the, the protein, what's a good kind of um, uh, rule of thumb for protein for, for just somebody that's just trying to maintain oh, I better health? To maintain the muscle mass you have, you, would sh- you should shoot for one, one gram of protein per pound of body weight or per pound of lean body mass. Okay. So if you're 200 pounds, you should be getting about 200 pounds of protein. Right on. So. Okay. And if uh, if people are interested in what you do and and uh, to learn more about you, where do they go? Uh, Instagram is no donuts here. It's kind of like a play <laughs> on words and a jab at cops. And, heck, you know, you got to have some fun with it. But no donuts here on Instagram. Uh, Michael, no donuts here. Cunahan on Facebook. That's about it. Okay. Cool. All right. That's Physical Friday for today. Great advice for fishing guides, for first responders, for anybody that is going to leave the house. And you know what, man, that nutrition is key. Planning. We just did another one the other day that was uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. Absolutely. And that's what this is all about. All right. Good luck to you. And uh, follow Mike on Instagram. He's a good follow.